So basically after you've made your free account, it will take you to one of two places. This right here, which is the Roblox homepage, or it will take you to a different page called My Roblox. If it took you here, just click that button that says My Roblox to go to My Roblox. So, um, if you were taken to My Roblox, you won't have to push that little My Roblox button there because you're already there. Basically what My Roblox is, is it uh, displays different information about your account. For example, this right here is your status, which shows you what you are up to at the moment, or at the hour. So, right here, to update this, just highlight that, click backspace, and start typing your message, like, doing a tutorial video. And then when you're done, just click update status, like that. And just like that, it's updated, so that's how that works. And this stuff right here is information about your account. This shows how many uh, messages you have. This shows how many friend requests you have. This shows how many tickets you have. And this shows how many Robux you have. What tickets in Robux are is they're the in-game currency. So they let you buy stuff from the catalog, which is right here. Now, let's talk about places. So you should already have a place open that Roblox opened up for you once you joined your once you made your account. Um, I have a lot of places here because I'm builders. I have Builders Club and I have a lot of. I have that Bernie need to create things. So, if however by the unlikely chance that you do not have a place open, just click this little button here that says Create Game Place. And from here, there's this all kinds of different stuff right here that you can edit. So this layout here, this is the name, this is your place title. So I'm going to entitle this tutorial, like that. Then in the description, this is a little description about what the place has inside it and how you play and stuff like that. I'm just going to put a smiley face on here. So right here, um, this right here is the player limit. If you are Builders Club, you can check this little box or circle, if you will, here, which is Mega Place. You have to have Builders Club for that, again, but um, if you check that and you are Builders Club, a lot of people can be in a server at once. If, however, you are not Builders Club, then you can adjust how many players can come to your place like this. It's a drop-down list, so if you want a lot of people to come, you just click 20, like that. Or if you want the least amount of people possible to come, just click 6, so it's almost like a sleep number bed. So right here, access and privileges, this is pretty important. This determines who can access your place, as they labeled right here. So if you check that public circle there, um, that means anyone can come to your place. If you click friends only, then the, you guessed it, only your friends can come to your place. And I'm going to check that for this. Copy protection. This is also pretty important. Um, my advice is if you do not want people to copy your place and take credit for building it, I would keep that checked. Turn comments on or off. Uh, if you do not want people to comment on your place, um, then uncheck that. On the other hand, if, if, you do, if you do want people to comment on your place, leave that checked. Alright, choose place template. This is um, what your place will start as. So this is the main social um, kind of party, like hang out with friends type place right here, which is the happy home in Robloxia. Yeah? If you want to build everything yourself and start from scratch, then that's the empty base plate. And finally, here is the little uh, starting battle map. It uh, automatically gives any player who enters the game all the original weapons for them to fight each other with and blow up each other's castle. Uh, I'm going to click empty base plate and then you click create. If you want to manage your places you go down to places again find your place. probably won't have to do this if you don't have as many places as me. And right here you can view the place, configure, advertise, create a badge, or make inactive. Um, I'm going to view the place because this allows you to look at how many servers there are right now. There aren't any right now but then you can look at your comments. 
And right here, this is a little options drop-down list that allows you to choose um, one of the following options that allows you to kind of manage your place here. For example, if I click configure this pay place, look at that. Doesn't this layout look familiar? But we have a few more options here. Um, we can change the name, the description, player limit, access privileges, copy protection, comments. But, well, there's something new. Chat settings. Um, basically what the classic chat does is it just displays that chat uh, messages up in a little corner like that. Nothing more, nothing less. And what bubble chat does is it displays a little um, speech bubble above whoever is talking. Um, but it will not display it up in the corner, so if you want to know what that person is saying, my advice is for you to read that as fast as possible before the bubble disappears. Or both. Uh, that actually lets you... that displays that same speech bubble, but will also display it up in the corner. So, that way you don't have to go to the trouble to reading it as fast as possible. So, I'm going to just click... No, nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, so this here is your categories. Um, so yeah, right here we have all, town and city, fantasy, sci-fi, ninja, scary, pirate, adventure, sports, funny, wild west, war, skate park, and tutorial. I'm going to leave that checked at tutorial because that's exactly what this place is for. Gear settings. What gear items are is you buy them in the catalog like a hat and then you can take them into um, places that allow gear. So for example, I could buy a sword from the catalog and take that into any place that allows gear. So if you don't want them to allow gear, um, then you just leave this checked or you can check this and just not check any of those boxes right there. But um, all categories means that all categories that you choose from here will be allowed at your place. For example, that means any type of gear would be allowed there like Chaos Canyon used to. Or this right here, only categories that match the category of your place. So if I click Fantasy and I click Melee and Ranged, that Ranged would normally include ray guns if I click that there. But since we clicked only categories that match my place, and we clicked fantasy, that will only allow stuff like crossbows and bows and arrows and stuff like that, uh, ballistas, and anything like that while keeping out all of the um, ray guns and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to uncheck all those. Alright, Builders Club only. Uh, this allows you to um, control if a player needs Builders Club to enter your place or not. If you do not have Builders Club, I would advise you to keep it at none, otherwise you will not be able to go into your own place and that'd be just wrong. If you want to reset your place and start over from scratch on what you've built, click that little button there and choose one of the templates like we did before. Like that. Version history. Well, this is also pretty important. Like, If you build something you don't like, uh, you can uh, click one of the versions that you did like and then you can click make current and then click save changes and it will automatically restore it to that version so I'm going to click save changes and then you're done your place is set up and ready to be visited on the next tutorial I'm going to show you a little bit about building your place and how that works anyway thank you for watching goodbye <laughs>